What haircut do you have? What is your haircut called? Pay attention, get a pen, get a paper, write it down. This is called a temple fade. A temple fade. Welcome back to my channel, Taylor Tribe. My name is Terrell Taylor. I appreciate each and every last one of you for tuning in and watching my videos. If you haven't done so, take the time right now to subscribe and become a part of the Taylor Tribe. Today, we're going to be talking about the reason why you can't get curly hair. You've been trying different method after method. Uh, you've been trying this way, this way. You've been listening many videos on YouTube on how to get curly hair. Uh, what I'm here to explain, the different methods you can take and the steps you're gonna take to actually achieve curly hair just like mine. Uh, stay tuned, keep a lot, let's get into it. My name is Terrell Taylor. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. So how do you take super straight hair and super fine and super coarse hair and make it curly and you get loose bouncy curls? Well, one of the things you have to actually realize is that your hair um, may be a different pattern than mine. We all have different hair types and we all have different hair textures as well. So if you have a different hair type and a different hair texture, um, the methods that apply to me might not get the results of this curl pattern. One of the methods I actually wanna talk about is finger coiling. Finger coiling is definitely a way to get your hair curly. Now the finger coiling method depends on how long and how short your hair is. Now if your hair is very short, it would be very simple to get your hair curly as well, you can achieve that look. Finger coiling is basically taking some type of curly hair product. There are so many different products that you can use um, in order to achieve the finger coiling method. So finger coiling basically is putting in the products into your hair and you're going to take your hand and go in a circular motion. So when you take your hand and your finger, because you're taking your fingers, you're going to go in a circular motion. You're going to apply whatever curly cream that you have um, purchased and you're going to put it all throughout your hair, spread it evenly. And what you're going to do next is take your finger, you're coiling your hair to go to a curly hair pattern. That's one of the top methods that I do recommend if you are achieving the look of curly hair, um, if you want to train your hair as well. You have to train your hair to get curly. Another method that you actually can achieve the curly hair look going straight to curly is the sponge. The sponge is definitely something if you're first starting out, if you're a beginner trying to get curly hair, this is definitely a way to train your hair is by using the sponge. Now, I personally don't use a sponge, but I did a video on how to use a sponge properly. Uh, but all you do is take the sponge, depending on your hair length, um, you're gonna put some type of cream in your hair as well because you never want to twist or curl your hair on dry hair. That's definitely a no-no, and that's unhealthy to not only not moisturize your hair, but not to condition and deep condition your hair. So always moisturize your hair. That's something that you always need to do is keep your hair moisturized. But anyway, um, you're gonna take your sponge, and same, same way for the finger coiling method, you're just gonna twist your hair. In a circular motion, you're just gonna go around. Make sure you go in the same pattern. Now, a lot of people got on me because I said press down. Um, I had a lot of comments on the video saying do not press down. So, um, like I said, I don't use the sponge. A lot of people said, Terrell, you're not supposed to press down. What are you talking about? So do not press down your hair, but go in a circular motion uh, when you're using the sponge. Another method that I do want to talk about how to achieve curly hair, going from straight to curly, is a wash and go. A wash and go is very simple. I'm just going to put conditioner in your hair um, from deep conditioning and shampoo it. Um, you're going to leave it damp and you're just going to wash your hair and go. That's a great way to train your hair. Now, I will say this. Because we're coming up on fall as well as the winter seasons, um, it's not typically a great idea to go outside with wet hair and it's cold. Um, you can get sick. So that's it's definitely not the best method at this particular time as the weather is changing and getting cold outside. But if it's a spring day or a summer day, do a nice wash and go. Um, that's going to help your hair get moisturized. And it's going to achieve that curly pattern uh, that you're trying to achieve. The very last method that I do want to recommend that you do um, in order to train your hair going from straight to curly is the two strand twist method. So if you're looking to actually achieve this hair in particularly the way this is right now, it's the two strand twist method. So the two strand twist method is very simple. Uh, you take two strands of your hair, boom, and all you do is start to twist your hair. That's all you have to do is twist your hair, boom. You take two strands of hair, you twist it. Now here's the key. The key is to let your hair air dry overnight. So if you want to do a twist out, let's say twist your hair around 8, 10 o'clock, 
or whatever, you wake up in the morning, you take them out, it's gonna be extra curly. Now, if you do a twist out and you let it sit for an hour, it's not gonna be as much curly. Um, this can last up to a week, long as you're taking care of your hair, and long as you're doing maintenance for your hair. I sleep with my headband. My headband helps to keep my hair maintained, and it keeps it intact as well. So I definitely um, could wear this about a full week. Now, I kind of sort of twist my hair twice weekly. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Depends if I'm going out and I want a little extra sauce on my hair, I do another twist out so it can be extra bouncy, extra curly, and extra thick. Um, and that's one way that you definitely can achieve the curly hair method going straight to curly. That's my number one recommendation is a twist out. My number one recommendation is doing a twist out. If your hair is long enough, you need at least I would say you need at least three to about five inches to actually do a, a good twist out. It always comes down to how long your hair is. And then lastly but not least, in order to achieve the straight to curly look, you definitely have to get a shape up. I see a lot of comments in my section saying, what is the haircut? What haircut do you have? What is your haircut called? Pay attention, get a pen, get a paper, write it down. This is called a temple fade. A temple fade. You're just getting a fade around the sides and the back. When you go to the barber, just tell them you want a temple fade on the sides. Don't take too, too much on the sides and in the back. Um, that's how you will achieve this look. Particularly, this is two strand twist and a temple fade and you will have the same hairstyle that I have right now. Taylor Tribe, I hope these tips and this advice is great enough for you to achieve curly hair just like mine's. Um, if you can't get the look just like mine, leave a comment in the section below. I'll make more videos. I'll give you more tips and advice as well. Remember, good people, it's never too late to tailor your life the way you want to see it. I'm Terrell Taylor. Can't wait to see you good people next time.